Well, we're up to our neck in a whole bunch of fun stuff today. For the 3VZE motor, we're going to put the heads on. See all my goodies I got. The heads have been ported and polished, gasket matched, and got my ARP head studs. Definitely need the lubricant. If you buy the ARP head studs, make sure you buy the ultra torque lube. And then I got two gasket sets. One, this is a complete gasket set for the motor, uh, for the top end of the motor. And then I have these MLS gaskets, because they're all steel. So it's a perfect combination to have these and the ARP head studs. This kit has the graphite gaskets, but I'm just going to put the good ones on there so that way I don't ever have to have a problem with the head, with the head gaskets. So basically to get ready to get started putting those on, just like you did before, clean all the bolt holes, uh, blow them out, and I'm cleaning them out with this. But you can use uh, a thread chaser just to go down in there and clean it out nice and easy, blow them out where the proper eyewear and stuff like that because this stuff's going to blow back at you. Um, clean the surface of oil, which I did. And then once we get to the next step, uh, go ahead and slide the heads on and show you the ARP head studs inserted. Uh, I got the head gaskets on there. They only go on one way because the head gaskets are different for the left bank and the right bank. If you can see the distinction in the gasket and this side of the gasket. And the gaskets I got does not label which side they go on, but you can tell from the where the old gasket laid and how these lay on there. Um, just make sure you make sure that the right side up and all that stuff to your application and what gaskets you have. The ARP head stud kit from, from uh, LC Engineering, uh, that I, where I got it from, gives you all the instructions, the torque specs, and the torque sequence. But just double check the torque sequence to updated torque sequences and the torque specifications. And the ARP head studs are different threads. The Allen stays up, so you can thread it into the block with the Allen side up. And put blue Loctite on the threads and I'll show you all that once I get the heads on there but they recommend doing the head gaskets and heads and then putting the bolts and the studs in there so that way you do not uh, when you put the heads on the threads don't gall the aluminum and fall into the motor so but you do that up to your discretion how you feel fit and what you feel confident with but I'm gonna get the heads on there clean the bottom of the heads up get the oil off of those from them sitting because I oiled them so that way nothing would rust like the cams or anything and then once I get that going I'll come back well I got one head on there but just let everybody know that if you going to put the studs in after the head gasket and the heads just sitting on there make sure the block if you can see make sure the block is up to where it's not at an angle so the way they could fall off because all it is has got two little dial pins that it could fall off so just make sure you do one at a time and it's sitting somewhat straight up so that way it'll hold itself on there um if you're going to drop the arp head studs or if you're just putting regular head bolts in there factory ones back in there you're going to have to pull the cam out to install the head with the head bolts because this the distributor is in the way from it going in there it's basically a straight shot down and also too if you try to drop the head bolts in here down through here they won't go so if you're tearing your motor down you got to pull your cam off but follow the the removal procedure because um the manual touches a specific way because if you don't do it correctly you could damage the cam um i still gotta do my seals which is not a real big deal but uh the machine shop put my cams on here and checked all my clearances and put it all back together. I did not have to do take the cam off to put the ARP head studs on 
because they are the they recommend you do it all afterwards. Basically, you put the head gas, get the head on, then drop the studs in. Um, I did it. I basically put the head gasket on, put the studs in, and dropped it down nice and slowly, and took my chances. That's up to you. That is all on you. Um, if you you know potentially get uh, aluminum shavings, basically the threads in there. That's why I checked them to make sure there was nothing on them. I dropped it down real nice and slow and guided it on there. Um, but that's not recommended uh, to do. Um, but just to let you real quick, easy thing for the ARP head studs is just make sure you get the correct Allen, which I think it's three sixteenths. And you put your Loctite on and then basically all you do is just thread it in there. And if you have any problems at all, threading these in by hand, stop, pull it out, uh, put a thread chaser in there so that way it'll clean the threads out so that way you don't have to worry about any issues of torque and, of, of it going down nice and smooth so basically I mean, a slight resistance is not too bad but if you gotta if it takes a little bit of effort stop and pull it back out and make sure the threads are clean because you don't want to take any chances and these are only supposed to be hand tight so basically less than 10 foot pounds because once you get it threaded down in there and it stops that's it so and that's what holds it because all the torque is right here and when you're getting ready to put the ARP washers and the ARP nuts on there make sure you put a good amount basically all the shows and everything I've seen basically they say don't be stingy with the fastener assembly lube put it on the washer on the threads of the bolt and every and on the threads of the stud and then put them on there and I'm gonna be able to get a socket down in there which is not a per, not a big deal to torque them but just let to do that. I'll get all the head studs on there and then torque it. Got the head on, got it all torqued down with ARP head studs. I took my cam off just to be safe. It gave me a little bit more access room. Follow the, the loosening sequence per your manual. Uh, mine is, you can see it right there. It shows you the sequence to loosen it. And then now here's the help you orientation of the caps. So that way you have that too. So that way you get a good picture of that. But taking it off is really easy. Um, this makes it a lot easier. And also Tim will clean up all this old oil and then put assembly lube in there. And then uh, put my put my seals in and the cam back down once I get the other head on there. And for the ARP head studs, follow the directions. It tells you everything on the directions, but just a little helpful hint if you uh, never done ARP head studs, if I could show you. Like I already showed you how to put it down in there. But it's to make sure you have enough thread contact surface when you put the bolt, when you put the nuts on there. You know, basically get the head on there to make sure you got enough thread showing. It doesn't have to be bottomed out. You can back it off a little bit. So that way you have a little extra thread sticking out. So when you tighten the bolt down, you get more thread contact with the bolt. So that way you're a little more secure. Just a little helpful. And it says it in the directions, but I wanted to mention that too. You can bottom it out, but it's, you can back it off a little bit. So that way the threads get a better bite to it. Um... My driver's side is fine. It's got enough threads, but I just wanted to let you know but it's that way it's something to keep an eye on. So that way you don't have just a couple threads on the bolt tightening and not have enough bite to hold it. But I'm gonna get the other one on there, take the other cam out. You basically when you loosen it on my manual, you loosen it from the basically where the single cap is out so like on the pat the driver's side one I loosened it back here and went out this way you just go out gradually turn a little bit loosen it a little bit at a time and work your way down all the way and then come back and then finish loosening it 
until they're all broken loose and then pull the caps off. Keep them in the orientation of where the caps are because they are labeled. And then take your cam out, drop your head on the studs, and then you can put it all back together. Real quick, so I can show you what I mean by thread contact. If you can see that. Make sure you got enough threads down on the stud. So basically when you tighten it, tighten the nut, it'll bring it down just that extra bit more and it should be flush with it. And that means you got full thread contact. So you can get the maximum amount of what you pay for and most reliability. See down in there too. Got the heads on there. Got the cams in. And the manual you use gives you the torque sequence. But basically what it is is you they start from this and then the torque sequence. It says go to 18 foot uh was it 18? No, I think it was actually see this is the, the tightening sequence. But it was uh, 12 foot pounds 12 foot pounds to tighten these two but I got them all in and I went to go tighten down on this one and the threads pulled out I don't know if the machine shop tightened them too much or not because all I did was was putting the wrench on them just to snug them and it pulled right out exact same thing on the other side <laughs> in the exact same spot so I'm going to have to pull the cam back off, helicore, the, basically drill it and tap it so I can put the threads back in it so that way I can tighten it all down. So basically I'm at a stopping point right now until I get all the stuff for that. And then I, once I button that up, then I can start putting the front of the motor together and then the back, which I could probably do the back now. But if you can tell, it's snowing outside and I'm just ready to take a break. Um, just remember when you're putting your cams on, put your new seals in there, and then also put the retainers. I didn't take do this one because I was like, okay, now i got to do both sides. So, um, And just lube the cam up really well when you put it back in there so that way it won't be a dry start. And I'm going to do... The lower intake plenum and then the upper intake plenum, um, all these right here is gasket matched, which that means the intake, the heads and the intake are going to be matched to what the actual gasket is. Because a lot of manufacturers uh, of heads, the blocks, and all that different stuff, they, they just cast them, so basically it's just no distinctive it's going to keep the same shape so basically you match it to these and they'll flow a lot better because it's not basically if I can get it on there I don't think this is this side there. Oh, wrong side I had a feeling it was that one side there you go. let's see how this gasket matched around here and then he did it a little bit up there, but he didn't want to go too far. But that means it's not going to hit the side and have and flow through. And the same thing for the intake. They're going to be the gasket match. So that way they flow really well. So I can get as much, not really performance aspect of it because it's not a high horsepower motor, but just a more efficient application. So hopefully maybe I can get some more miles per gallon. But that's it for now. Uh, got everything torqued other than the cams um, and then the front stuff and all that other stuff. I'll keep up to date on the build.